Hey guys, this is Mike from BTech Reviews here, and today we take a look at and unbox the Samsung Galaxy A15. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So currently, today's unboxing, we're looking at the Samsung Galaxy A15 5G. So I definitely was enticed by the offer uh, for this online through Metro by T-Mobile, you can get this for zero down with a new line. And Metro by T-Mobile has just been throwing out a lot of good offers lately. You guys have seen, like I've gotten phones like the Motorola Razr, for example, and the Motorola uh, Stylus 5G in hand there. So this is going to be at my actual actual third unboxing this year already of Motorola devices. And my first Samsung device of 2024, so let's get this going, guys. So I was looking at the back here, and I'm not 100% sure how to get this open, I think. Let me just peel this off, maybe. Or I just I definitely don't want to tear the box. Hold on, let me see this really quick. Let me bust up my trusty knife sent to me by Carved. Shout out to them, by the way. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, this is a phone that retails for under $300. And for those of you who are, you know, not really too familiar with the A series device, Samsung actually, uh, you know, delivers a lot of uh, mid range phones, right? I would maybe consider this more towards the lower end of the, of the spectrum when it comes to that. Okay, I'm hoping this just comes out. Let's try this again. Hold on. I feel like I'm gonna tear the packaging, something I don't wanna do. Let's find out here. Oh, yeah, I'm like tearing. I'm already tearing it. Here we go. There we go. So I, I definitely want to try to keep the packaging intact. So look, if you look at it, it looks similar to the the new Samsung, uh, you know, flagship phones, right? The Samsung S23, the, uh, the S24, which is coming out, uh, which is already out, actually, from to my knowledge. But I feel like they're going uh, with the same design layout. Let's take a look at this. So here we go. Um, most likely you're just going to see a SIM card in there and in, in the reader doesn't look like we're getting any type of, um, any type of, uh, charging, probably just the wire for the charger, which that, that's okay. A uh, SIM card removal tool right there inside the box, nothing too fancy. Um, and just feeling it in this actual like little casing here, the phone actually does feel kind of heavy. So considering... Considering the size of this phone, this has a 6.5 inch display. If I can get this going, or if I can just maybe, you know, they don't, they don't make the, they don't make these things easy anymore. I guess to take off, you know. Oh, here we go. Found it. Found it. Well, actually, no, maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna tear it. At this point, you usually these come in plastic. Actually, this one that looks like it's coming like in, inside of a recyclable, I guess, casing. Which that's not too bad. I guess. I there you go. I just kind of felt opening that. That's going to the trash. So looking at this, uh, the color of this is kind of like a graphite gray, kind of similar to the uh, Samsung A54 series that I had last year. And if you guys paid attention to, to that unboxing, that was actually one of my favorite devices of 2023. Uh, and uh, just feeling the way this phone feels, build quality wise, um, it feels pretty good in hand, I'm not gonna lie. It, it's pretty flat. Uh, it's a little bit on the thicker side uh, than what I want it to be. And it's kind of heavy if I can be hundred percent honest. Um, fingerprint sensor there on the side, you guys can see that you can see the, the volume rockers, fingerprint sensor, uh, triple camera setup. You got your USB type C on the bottom. Not sure what that port is. I'm going to assume that's the speaker kind of like a very small, not a common speaker grill. I think normally you would see like three little dots. And then of course, from the looks of it, you actually get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So that's something that I actually enjoy seeing uh, in these type of devices. Let's go ahead and get this turned on here. So it's got kind of a weird uh, wedging here on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There we go. Let's get the camera on that. But it's got, kind of got like an indention here, I guess, so that you can kind of feel that the the power button is there. Let's go ahead and get this turned on here. Let's see if it has juice, first of all. It might not have juice. It might not have juice. Oh, uh, there we go. There we go. So far, so good. So guys i got again i got this off metro by t-mobile this device is actually free uh currently with a new line but uh this phone is under 300 dollars. so i'm actually kind of surprised because like samsung has so many uh a series devices that it's kind of hard to keep up with them sometime um i'm going to actually read you guys the specs off of uh actually the metro by t-mobile website 
and then we'll get it going from uh, the other website over here. So hold on, give me one, give me one second here. So it looks like we're starting it up, right? Um, if I can find the Metro by T-Mobile site. All right, so I am going to read off the specs from the Metro by T-Mobile website. So I feel like there's a different variants of this device, but this is going to be the Metro by T-Mobile uh, variant as far as specs go. So it does come with a triple camera setup, right? 13 megapixel front facing camera. So that little camera camera teardrop notch that you see down there, which I'm not really a fan of the teardrops. I really wish they would just be like a like a little just a little hole punch. That's just me, though. Uh, you do have a. Uh, again a 6.5 inch super amoled display so they this is actually one of the first devices that i've actually held uh, that has an amoled display which is pretty crazy because you don't really see amoled displays in devices that are under 300 dollars. so shout out to samsung for you know including that um <clears throat> looks like uh, we have um again that triple camera setup but it also one of these is a 50 megapixel setup so most of these a series phones have like a 50 megapixel camera you see that in a lot of mid-range uh phones uh phones such as the moto stylus uh 5g over here and then of course the motorola razor over there um really nothing too crazy though um so according to metro by t-mobile this device comes with four gigabytes of ram out of the box it says operating system android so i'm actually going to see which version of android uh, this actually is but I want to say it's probably going to be Android 14 since this is a relatively new device this device actually came out like December last year um, it does have expandable memory right so for those of you who are worried about oh you know if they're gonna have room for photos or video you can ex expand the memory with an SD card slot up to one terabyte which is pretty crazy so this variant has a MediaTek processor, right? MT6835 octa-core processor. So I'm gonna actually have to like, you know, go and download Geekbench and just kind of verify that. Um, but other than that, nothing too crazy. Not a lot of bells and whistles when it comes to this device. I would say this is just going to be a device that a lot of people just, you know, use just to use as a daily driver. And, you know, for people that don't really care about, um, you know, I guess just the, you know, spec smartphone specs in general, I think, but this is a, I can tell you right now, this is a very solidly built phone. It feels very solid around all the way around. Uh, I can tell you right now though, the back is a fingerprint magnet. Like my hands are really not that dirty, but I can, I'm seeing fingerprints. I don't know if you guys can see that there, like right there on top there. Uh, not too bad though. You get the Samsung logo. They're very plain. It's like, it's like they kind of don't want you to know it's a Samsung device. <laughs> Look at that. So it's very plain. Uh, let's go ahead and get this set up. Again, I'm going to have to find that fingerprint uh, sensor. And let's go ahead and get this set up for you guys. All right, guys. So as you can see here, we already have the phone uh, past the, you know, the setup screen here. We are on the home screen here. As you can see, the apps were updating. And so far, uh, from the looks of it, you know, this device... Uh, First of all, I can tell you one thing. I do like the screen. You know, I, I was a big fan of Super AMOLED displays. I always have been. Samsung just has the best screens on their devices. And and this just goes to show you that even in a budget device like this, which, which again, like I said, is under $300, I believe, uh, from the making of this video, this device, this device is $239. Uh, now, that doesn't include unlocked versions. This is just by Metro by T-Mobile. You might have to actually go look up the information yourself, right? Uh, but, you know, again, it is updating apps. It is uh, doing its thing here so right out of the gate i can tell you that it's it's not super snappy but it's not slow either right you know again keep in mind this does have a a uh, a snapdragon chip or i'm sorry a, a MediaTek chip so uh, again going back to um you know the metro by t-mobile website um they basically were saying that again it has a MediaTek processor which you know for for it having a media tech it doesn't feel as bad and and you guys know that i'm really not keen on samsung phones but ever since last year that when i had the samsung a54 5g that phone just genuinely uh impressed me and i was just uh really impressed by the device i kind of regret getting, getting rid of it but let, maybe let's hope that uh you know me getting this device will um you know encourage me to get maybe one or two more devices uh for the year as far as uh you know as far as reviewing and unboxing goes let me know what you guys think should i got should i do more samsung devices latrell should i do more samsung devices right uh but right out of the big gate again you can see here that it does have that that unlocked i'm going to tell you guys one thing though the camera or not the camera but the the power button is very clicky i don't know if you guys can hear that or not it's very clicky. I'm not a fan of the click on that. 
uh looks like it you know you double tap it it opens up the camera which is pretty funny uh, a lot of little features here on this device right not a fan of the background that will be changed uh <clears throat> um later on of course right let's go ahead and take a look at the the camera really quick this 50 megapixel camera let's see okay shutter speeds relatively quick let's see there see if we can get details of that really quick you can see there there's a, a hair or something or maybe that's my phone <laughs> no you can actually see the hair on on the the case so that's my dog hair so really pretty good honestly i mean just just from taking this and I'm, again i mean i am in a low light area you know i just have the, the 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 lights on for for the actual unboxing here but the rest of my room is pretty dark uh so to speak here um let's take a look at video uh footage real quick let's see what we can shoot in so it says fd fhd at 30 and then you just have hd so you really only have two uh, camera recording modes unfortunately uh, that's you know that's kind of crappy honestly but at the same time um you know it is what it is you know this is a device under 300 dollars, but i think that 1080p is is really fine for what you're getting here especially like on uh, on the front facing camera as well if you can get 1080p on the front facing camera which it looks like you can shout out to everybody by the way uh then you know then then there's no issues right i mean most people shoot in 1080p i, I don't think there's a lot of people you know uploading on youtube that shoot in 4k no, i'm not, and i'm not saying you know a lot a lot of people i'm sure there's people that do it but myself i don't do it so so we're get, we're just getting uh this thing set up here as you can see here it does have that three uh, button uh display let's go ahead and check out um the version of android really quick while we are just kind of going through this and i do have the device already activated so you might see a phone number you might not um let me see so status software information here we go so it's running one ui 6.0 i'm not 100 percent sure what the latest version of that is but you can see here that it is running android 14. so you know again you are getting android 4 14. as far as updates and stuff like this go it, and my buddy tito will say it right you might not see a lot of it uh let's see this app is using full screen okay i gotcha i gotcha so let's see what the easter egg here you just tap it a bunch or do you hold it down? I'm not 100% sure what, you know, usually there's like a little Easter egg when you tap it. I'm not 100% sure. Let me see if I can tap it a bunch. It just says Android 14. It's pretty cool though, honestly. So let's go ahead and, and go back home there. So phone is actually relatively snappy. You know, again, it is still updating uh, the, the updates. I, I love that. I love the Samsung UI has, you know, their, their shortcut features on top. They, I think it just looks cleaner. Sorry. Uh, stock, uh, Stock Android looks like a mess to me. I just kind of hate it. And I really enjoy the way uh, Samsung's uh, does it. It's just more simplified. And obviously, you know, you have more options there and you can, uh, you know, add more if you want as well. Bluetooth is, is, is an easy access. Wi-Fi is an easy access. Uh, not sure if my service is completely activated. I'm going to wait until uh, this disconnects so that I can actually... Um, or I'm sorry, I'm going to wait for this to finish updating all the apps so that I can actually restart the phone because uh, I'm pretty sure it is going to need a restart, guys. But so far, just playing around with the phone, it's, you know, snappy. Let's see what you guys get as far as the apps go. Uh, you know, you're, of course, stock Google apps, which, you know, Google is just picking every color of the rainbow now for all their apps. I kind of don't like, I hate this. I, I just like how the YouTube app is kind of like a little more distinguishable than everything else and not to knock on all the colors or anything like that but like you know it's like if you're if you have bad eyesight like me right which i have pretty bad eyesight you know and especially for older people this is going to be confusing like having to like look at all the colors especially people that are like obviously you know you can just see like google chrome whatever but you know again for people that have bad eyesight it's going to kind of hurt you it does come with a few uh stock microsoft app as well interesting uh your stock uh whoa hello i i did not click anything i did not click anything i'm not sure what happened there okay smart things control your device continue okay so i can't even open the folder without something happening here so um okay we're gonna allow while using the app here allow allow uh, so favorite again i'm just gonna go home on this you know it's just one of those deals where i, I just want to click the samsung folder and it's making a big it's making it harder than what it needs to be so uh it, it does have a you know a, a slide style uh, layout with the folders not just the scroll style so you get you know more than one page basic stuff like your calculator your gallery again if i open the gallery you're going to see 
the picture in there. And again, I'm generally impressed, guys, by the snappiness of this phone, honestly. For a phone under $300, I am honestly shocked and surprised. And again, I'm, I'm waiting. There you go. I'm waiting for Geekbench to finish installing so that we can show you guys uh, exactly what processor is in this device. All right. So we do have Geek, uh, Geekbench going here. Here's just a thing of what it says here. Here's some information. Let's go over here to the device itself. Okay. So again, Samsung uh, A156U, Android uh you know 14 obviously it says it's it's an octa-core processor so this one does have four gigs of internal i'm sorry four gigs of ram which i'm just honestly surprised that this does have it because it does feel a little snappier than for a device that has four gigs usually mid-rangers need at least six gigs of ram to feel pretty decent right so like devices like my galaxy or i'm sorry my med my uh, Moto G stylus over there has, I think, about six gigs of RAM. And, you know, it does feel snappy, but so does this device. So, uh, you know, what does that say about Samsung and, the, and, and their One UI? Maybe they're, maybe it's getting better, right? You know, I'm definitely not feeling a lot of jank outside the box. As you can see here, 1080p by, uh, you know, 2000 and 398 PPI, which is pretty pretty solid for a, a budget device like this. I wouldn't say, you know, it's, you know, it's great or anything like that to any means, but for, for what it is, I think this device is actually just, I'm just telling you guys right now, it is a, uh, I feel like it's a very good deal for what it is, right? Now, as far as security goes, you do have the fingerprint sensor, but you also have face unlock as an option, right? Of course, unlock screen, right? You're gonna, it's gonna ask you for, you know, a passcode, so you can do that as well, right? Of course, I just have the fingerprint set up. Fingerprint's very, very quick. Let's see, very quick. You know, again, I'm just, I'm just barely tapping it and boom, look at it, it turns on and off no issues here it says finish setting up your uh you know your samsung galaxy a15 so so definitely uh you know i do know that there is uh you know more may possibly more than one ver uh more than one version of this device you know this is going to probably be like the base base as far as uh the device goes but i'm just really interested to see uh you know what this device uh is lacking i'm i'm not not seeing nfc here by the way guys so uh nfc means that you're not able to do like a lot a oh actually you know what it does have nfc look like nearby share well it has nearby share you know but i'm not seeing an N nfc logo so i'm not sure if that's one in the same anymore i i, I kind of forget right because nearby share you can kind of you know use bluetooth with that as well right there's bluetooth and then there's nfc right nfc you use with devices like google wallet etc like that or you can also tap like another device to transfer files right I'm not seeing anything uh, to that extent on this device. And just from what I'm seeing on the actual, uh, you know, website itself, I do not see any NFC. But if anyone wants to comment on that, you can leave a comment in, in the description below. Just a heads up on that. Again, you know, I'm kind of relatively new uh, with the specs on this device as well. And again, so far, very snappy. You know, again, I'm not complaining. I'm going to have to get logged into my social medias uh, to kind of see, you know, how the usage of the device goes. Um, but so far, not complaining. Let's go to YouTube really quick. <clears throat> Allow. So I'm not logged in here. Well, I'm logged. I'm logged into some of my <laughs> accounts. Let's go ahead and log into the Deathlock podcast, right? And let's see if we can find a B Tech video really quick. Um, here we go. Moto Stylus. <laughs> Probably copyrighted, by the way. Okay, I'm going to pause that just because I don't want to play it for more than five seconds without someone saying, oh, you know, I'm not able to monetize this video, right? But anyways, probably we'll get demonetized for that. But anyways, um, let's see. Let's go to subscriptions here. Let, and just so far, so, I mean, again, let's like, let's click Tito's video really Check quick. Out this pink mini Ooh, we got an ad here. Okay, hold on. Let me, let's put that aside for now. Shout out to Tito, by the way. Um... Ooh, we got two ads. Sheesh, non skippable ads. There you go. That's okay. I don't have premium on this. I don't have premium hey, how's on going, this account. everybody? Count. Welcome back to the channel. And before I get things started, again, just want to kind of just let you guys know that there is members only content. Of I already saw this video, by the way. Shout out to Tito. Uh, I can tell you, right? I mean, it's a single speaker grill. It doesn't sound horrible, right? You know, I'm definitely seeing. Uh, I'm hearing uh, it sounds a, it could be a little muffled depending on who's talking or what, what type of microphone they're using, I guess. Uh, it doesn't sound bad. It does sound, you know, again, it sounds like loud and crisp, but it also sounds a little muffled also. So, I mean, take that with a grain of salt. But again, this does have a headphone jack and you can plug in Bluetooth headphones if you want to avoid all of that. So, again, so far, so good. Like, again, 
you guys can kind of see here uh, i want to assume the uh, the display is is a 60 hertz you know again this is a budget device let's go ahead and find out let's see if there's anything else and then we'll go ahead and close out the video i do need to get this uh <coughs> activated and i am blind so i'm gonna have to actually change like the font size um leave it there and i'll probably put it like almost to like <laughs> max over here just because i'm blind display and font size there you go guys i am blind so screen vivid uh i don't know why a lot of the devices that i've seen here they they're defaulting to vivid but i actually prefer like the natural color because vivid kind of like hurts my eyes uh keep in mind maybe that's just me i prefer natural colors though um screen zoom font size and style let's see i already did that I comfort mode screen timeout let's put that to two minutes i usually default it to two minutes navigation bar let's go to uh swipe gestures i i'm really not a fan of the three button layout anymore i used to be i don't know why i'm just not anymore again but it's pretty cool though like you know you can I, i'm glad that you have the option uh edge panels which i don't have that on but edge panels i guess allows you to add little shortcuts here right which you go you know again um i don't really care for edge panels this isn't a curved display so i really i mean it's kind of a gimmick feature i don't i don't really use it, it i guess for people that just want like shortcuts where the, you know they can maybe swipe their finger aside or something like that and they can access you know apps that they want to use directly but to me it's like why well, do that you can just have the apps you want on the home screen and it does have touch touch sensitivity but that's with a screen protector <clears throat> charging information so again it shows the battery percentage on there obviously um so no i don't see anything as far as uh the actual uh you know refresh rate here uh, here we go motion high smoothness okay here we go so there you go that's what i wanted to see here so it does have a 90 hertz display right so i was gonna say i know it didn't i didn't have 120 hertz but i know uh, now it's a 90 hertz display which you know in my opinion is more than enough for a device like this you really don't need uh, 120 hertz especially for like a low budget but i think the fact that this phone is a budget device less than 300 dollars, less than 250 dollars, guys keep that in mind right you know you can have it at, at 90 hertz or high you can change it to standard though if you want to save some battery life honestly most of these are like app optimized to where uh you know it'll it'll change it'll change it to a lower hertz depending on what you're doing right but it just says get smoother animations and scrolling with a 90 hertz refresh rate uh i know on the motorola phones it, it has like a smart dynamic version of it where you know it'll 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 just figure out what you're doing and it'll up the refresh rate or it'll lower it so so cool it's already at 90 which is what i want um easy mode which you know i feel like easy mode is for people that really just don't know how to use smartphones and it just kind of simplifies everything i don't i don't i don't turn that on ever um but yeah guys i mean pretty much your basic you know one ui i mean it's growing on me guys i'm not <clears throat> i'm not gonna be a hater on samsung that much anymore i think you know their phones have gotten a lot better since the samsung galaxy s7 days but you know again take it with a grain of salt you know uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna use i'm gonna test this device i'm gonna see where it's at uh especially for its price range you know this might be my favorite budget device of the year so far right you know i've gotten a few of them so far but this one might take the cake um as far as devices under 300 dollars, and i think you might want to look at this yourself if, especially if you guys are you know a part of metro by t-mobile i would definitely check the phone out um but anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here so if you guys like the video smash the like button if you guys like the the video subscribe to the channel keep an eye out for more content and we'll see you guys next time thanks again for watching